All right. Happy Monday, everybody. Good to see you. Big waves to you. Big waves to you. For all of you that missed our GMC F-150 Ford talk, uh, we'll get back with you on that. It was a good little start to the morning. Uh, <laughs> hope everybody's having a great Monday. We, um, we got some great words coming to you this week, but I believe this one is one that we've done, and mine hopefully is going to be short but powerful this morning because it's been powerful for me. So hopefully I can relay it in a good way. But the word for this Monday is invested, invested. And so if you go to research invested, you're going to find a lot out about investments and stock market and this and that, diversification. That's not what we're going to talk about today. Invested to have given a lot of time and effort to something and care about it very much. You've given a lot of time and effort to something and you care about it very much. Here's what Vince Lombardi, for all you Cheesehead fans out there, here's what Vince Lombardi said. Tracy Turnberg is loving it today. He's like, he, now he's rolling back the sunroof. He's like, yes. Those who have invested the most are the last to surrender. Vince Lombardi, those who have invested the most are the last to surrender. Here's another, another one I came across. Invest in yourself. It pays you the best interest. How true is that? Every book you read, every audio you listen to, every seminar you go to, every conference you can attend, it's going to pay you the most over time in your life. It's going to pay you the most interest. The most wise people that's ever been in the world has made those statements in a roundabout way. So here's my question to all of us this morning. Are we interested or are we invested because there's a big difference whether you're building a business you're working as an employee you're in a relationship or training for a marathon the question really comes down to how committed are you and if you look at people really quick here's what interested people look like interested people Let's take business, for instance. If you're interested, and this might step on toes this morning, you won't take the risk. Here's what that means. You won't go to the workshop. You won't go to the conference. You won't pour your own money into something to watch it grow. You won't take risk. You shift your focus. Interested people shift their focus. They shift their focus into other things because they're just interested in what they're saying they're committed to. Interested people give up easy. Going gets tough. Things don't work out. Got a program that didn't work. Doesn't matter. All excuses are equal. They'll give up easy. Interested people do. Interested people find a way to take their ball and go to another court. They quit. And we said business but it might hit you in the relationship category. It might hit you in the, in the marathon training. It, it might hit you in whatever. It might hit you on the golf course when you're not good at slapping those irons around, right? Are you interested or are you invested? Because here's what invested people look like. They do take the risks. They do spend the money to learn. They do spend the money to grow. Invested people spend time. They spend the time to learn. They spend the, and it takes years sometimes to learn the skills needed. They dig in. They dig their heels in the sand and go, you know what? They're going to go through tough times. Invested people is going to go through rock, hills, climbs, but they got their heels dug in to where they're like, I will find a way through. Invested people keep going. They go, man, John Frick, how do you win? I just win. I just go and I go and I keep going. 
And sometimes I dig my heels in because I know it's going to rock me and I need that leverage to hold me in the ground. But I'm just going to keep finding a way to put my foot one foot in front of the next, one foot in front of the next. And Ronnie might not think that I'm moving forward, but I'm moving forward. I continue to move forward because that's what I do. I'm invested. So the question is, whatever it is today that you're feeling that it's pulling you, is it, is it going back to, is it your business? Is it working as an employee in your company? Is it a relationship? Is it training for a marathon? Is it working to get better at golf? Are you interested or are you invested? Andrew, I'll turn it to you. Well, that was a good one this morning, Coach. So thank you for that. And kind of some toes were stepped on because you think about, you think you're committed, you think you're more than interested, but then when you kind of look at the, the list, you're like, okay, I have not been as invested as I need to be. So thank you for that. So what I focused on, I like, if you guys don't know this yet, I like a good to-do list. Like give me an action item, you know, I'm not one to talk about philosophy. I want to know, like, what's my next step? What can I do? So what I'm going to talk about is how to be more invested. And I'm going to mostly be focusing, but I think this could really work. I, I had work in my mind, but I think it could really, like you were saying, Coach, like it could really go to anything. This could be with your investments. It could be for your relationship. It could be for your job. It could be for your business. Like I think it kind of goes all over the place, but how to be more invested. First of all, focus on your purpose. So if you really know you know, a lot of times we talk about our why. If you really know what your purpose is, if you really know what your why is, it's really much more e easy to be invested. And then the second thing is to write down your goals. And I think about, I don't know if you guys saw last night, I had Ashley Rowland on the Sunday night call. And she talked about when her and Todd first got started in this industry, they wrote down their goals and they posted it all over their house because they weren't just interested in doing something, they were committed, they were invested in doing something. So number three, constantly be learning and bettering yourself. So again, like you just said, coach, are you going to that seminar? Are you going to the self-development courses? Are you reading every day? Are you listening to audios that are gonna help you expand your mind? Like, are you growing? And then number four is request feedback from peers. So if you have people in your life that when you look at them, you go, wow, you are really committed in that area. You are really invested in what you're doing. Go talk to them, get some feedback to see where you can grow so that you can be more like them. And then number five, celebrate those victories, big and small, right? So it goes back to Tammy Maltby and her win book. But when you're on your journey, right? let's say it's your relationship, go celebrate those victories of maybe you had that argument, but you worked through it really, really well, right? Or maybe it's in business and you sold a five-day trial pack and you dance in your kitchen, right? Because you're celebrating those big victories and the little victories. So celebrate them. Um, number six is to find a mentor. So we kind of talked about that with getting feedback. But if you have somebody in your life that is absolutely 100% invested in an area that you want to be invested in, go find a way to get into their pocket. And it may be an author and they're mentoring you from afar where you just focus on that book and you read 15 minutes a day and you keep going back to it because it's a place that you want to grow. Or it could be an actual person that's doing what you want to do. Go find a way to get into their pocket so that you can learn from them. Number seven. And you think, well, this is kind of a side, like a little off ramp here, but it's not take care of your body. And Robin talked about this last night, like, and we have to feel good in order to do good. And how committed, how invested can I be in my work if every inch of my body is hurting or I feel miserable or I'm tired or all of the things, right? So take care of your body, feed yourself well, move it, you know, do all the things that we know that we need to do. Um, when we have our bucket of ice cream at night, you know, make it half a bucket instead of a whole bucket. I don't know, but do the things that you know long-term are gonna help you feel better in your body 
so that you can focus outside of your body. And then lastly, take some time for fun. So we can be, you know, kind of head down, completely focused and in our work, but we can absolutely overwhelm ourselves and burn ourselves out if we don't have, you know, I go with the Tony Robbins quote with which is balance is BS. Um, I think he says a little bit differently. Like, I don't think you, we necessarily can find balance in our lives, but we can make time for the things that are important to us. So we can be completely invested, but hit the pause button every once in a while to go, you know, be like Alan and hit the, the ball around the golf course, or maybe go ice fishing with Tracy or ride the boat with Palmer, whatever it may be, but take some time to have some fun so that you can get back to work come Monday. That's what I got for you today. And, this was a good one. Andrea, you, that was amazing. And, and so I'm, I'm, I was looking it up a little bit ago and I want to say something about Cheryl and Madeline before we end, but I want to say this first. I was reading and I was looking for it of where I saw it the other day, but, but I was reading an, uh, something about a network marketer um, and a lot of you, that's, that's your, I mean, that's what you do either as a side hustle, uh, uh, or, or it's your full-time deal here. And I was reading something not too long ago about, he, he said that he spent a career in the industry of network marketing. Now, please listen to this for everybody that's involved in network marketing. Here's what he said. I never was one that was a top earner. I never was one that was deemed as I made a massive living in the industry. I, I always had a full-time job while I did the industry. He said, but to judge success is way more than just judging if a person's earning a lot of money in network marketing. He said, but I'll tell you what, he said, because I'll tell you what network marketing got me. It got me debt-free. Network marketing got me diversified. Network marketing got me a network of people that I trust all around the world. Network marketing has taken me to places that I would never have went if I would have just solely just stayed with the profession I was in and never had diversified into network marketing. And it was because of the development that it taught me. And I thought about that and I thought, all of us that are in the industry of network marketing, take yourself back before you were in this industry. Have you learned more? Have you grown more? Have you networked more? Are you somebody sitting here today and go, I have less debt today because of the network marketing industry. I've learned how to do things with my time or with my money or with my travel because of this industry. And I thought, how powerful when you start thinking about the word invested, is it worth investing in? I say yes. I say yes. I say this industry is super powerful for a lot of reasons. So I just wanted to say that. Uh, I know we don't always call out network marketing on the coach's corner, but I tell you what, we're not perfect, but dang it, we are, we are pretty dang good. We're pretty dang good at doing a lot of things in people's lives. So proud of the industry, proud of the industry I'm in. Um, so I want to say this as we end. Madeline, thank you for the words. Thank yeah. you so much. This was your word for, the, for, the, for today. And also, Cheryl, we are praying for you. Just so everybody knows, mm -hmm. Cheryl had an accident and a fall and oh. had a break. Um checking on some rental property. Cheryl, we love you. Cheryl Elliott out Thanks, in Texarkana. <laughs> and you are in our prayers. And we want to let you know this morning, okay? We pray for your uh, checkups this week yeah, and your doctor's appointments. So we love you. Have a great Monday, guys. We'll see you back on Tuesday. Have a blast. Thank, Thank you, you, Coach. Great message. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.